talk to us about the evolution of this project for you. Um, William was murdered in 1992. Yep. Um, it's 2017. Yep. And I understand, you know, everyone, in, as you beautifully explained to us, everyone kind of went silent for a while because yep. it was too much. It was just too much. Yeah. Um, what allowed you to start to think about expressing this film and this process? You know, in the absence of, of, of justice, right, in, in, in the face of the failure of, um, you know, a system that my parents believed in to, to deliver anything like due process, um, a deep and lasting silence really did fall over my family, uh, and myself included in that. But there was a, there was a time um, when the silence became more difficult to bear than the fear of telling the story was great, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, you know, being inside the documentary community, being, you know, uh, both you know professional colleagues and, and personal friends with many people who um, tell these kinds of stories and who train their lenses on other people who've been through experiences like this, um, and having this kind of story in my own background, right? Um, you know. There was a time when, you know, when I started working in, in this industry where no one knew, no one knew that I even had had a brother, right? No one knew that I had a brother, no one knew that he had been killed. Um, and when the weight of that silence became too much, that's when I knew I needed to tell the story. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I knew that the thing that my mother needed was to, to be able to tell the story. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, as as everyone in this room, via some association or another, knows, it was just a matter of you know moving from that point of realization to actually getting uh, you know the machine that would be you know the production off the ground. But um, that's that's really that's that was really the tipping point for me.